Go, Vega, go. Oh, man. That didn't work out as planned. Today, guys, we have the Infantry AK-47S with Max Gold Parts. They're going to be going up against some typical units that are used inside of the battlefield. So if you guys like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below as we get into the video. Alright, first up we got some mid-grade tier... Churchills, which have a uh, seven star, they do have level 120. They are rocking about three gold parts and some silver parts. As we see here, they're going to go up against some bunkered infantry. Um, they do show that there is structural damage uh, using this the Churchills, but I don't believe that there was much happening in this one, probably because they might not recognize the bunks or as a bunker as a structure. But nevertheless, um, the outcome was somewhat interesting. Um, the Churchills did do pretty good compared to some of the other ones. But once again, these are the mid-tier Churchills. They are rocking at about 550k power uh, right about there. And as you can see, they do have the infantry going down quite a bit. I believe it could be because of the structure damage or the personnel damage. But anyway, this is the outcome of this fight. In the next clip, we will see some top-tier Churchills, meaning they are the 10 power grade unit uh, fully maxed out Churchills. So stay tuned, guys, for the next clip. This time, guys, we're going to get to see a maxed out Churchill go up against the bunkers. And this time it's going to be much more interesting. This is a 7.1 Churchill with maxed out commanders, maxed out gold parts, pretty much a very, very high level Churchill. And as you could see, this one is not going down as easily as mine in the mid tier section. Uh, it is definitely putting in a lot of work against these bunkered infantry. What I found interesting in, in this scenario is a 7.1 versus a 7.1. The infantry did a lot better than what I thought they would do, but it wasn't enough to go against the Churchills that obviously have a little bit more armor, and also they have a lot better penetration against uh, some bunkering uh, or structures or whatever. But as you can see, the difference between a mid-tier, non-maxed out, non all gold part 550k unit as opposed to these maxed out churchills so this gives you a point of reference guys so if you want to know the difference between something that's completely maxed out and not this is a good reference as to what would happen next up guys we have the super heavy and I know a lot of you guys are going to be thinking, surely infantry should not beat a super heavy because of the armor. Well, in this video, we have a 7-star super heavy with gold parts, and it is not having maxed out commanders. But I am using total durability commanders uh, with Spanner and Dorothy. And as you can see here, they're not maxed out, but this is about a 525k power super heavy. So it is a middle tier super heavy. But what you can see is these infantry in a bunker absolutely taking it out, um, not showing it any mercy. Even though Spanner and Dorothy are both healing, uh, it is going down pretty fast. So it was interesting to me to see this. I thought that it would last a lot longer, but it seems that the Churchills did better against the infantry than the super heavies. In this footage, guys, we are going to look at some mediums, some Russian mediums, which are the T-34s. They are maxed out. They have a um, some pretty good commanders, not entirely maxed out, but pretty good commanders that somebody would typically use, which is Guardian of Truth and Spanner. Um, they have all gold parts, and also they are 120 on the level. So these are pretty decent mediums. And I was interested to see how the mediums, because they fire pretty fastly, and also they can heal 
uh, tremendously how they would do against the infantry. Once again, this is not totally maxed out mediums, but this is some very decent mediums that most people would fight with. So it was interesting to see how these infantry that are bunkered uh, handle tanks in a one versus one scenario. And so after this, guys, I do have a final uh, clip of some Hellcats, which are um, decent. They're around like 525k power. Um, those Hellcats um, are not maxed out. They do not have gold parts. Uh, but anyway, it was the best I could do at the time. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and uh, leave a thumbs up, leave a like, and also hit the subscribe button and share the video with your friends. Thanks, guys.